All right, let's get right into it. We are going to talk about something that drives so many of us absolutely crazy. The cycle of losing weight, feeling great, and then watching it all come back. This explainer is all about the deep biology behind why that happens. I mean, this is the million dollar question, right? You put in all the work, all the effort, and the scale just seems to have a mind of its own. For so long, we've been told it's just a lack of willpower. But what if it's not about willpower at all? What if the real story is about your brain's ancient survival programming? Well, that's exactly what we're about to unpack. So to figure out why the weight comes back, we first need to look at how your body tries to keep your weight stable to begin with. The best way to think about it is like this. Your brain has a kind of weight thermostat, and it has a very specific setting it wants to stay at. Now, the fancy science term for this is energy homeostasis. And you have to remember, this system is a product of millions of years of evolution. Our survival literally depended on it. So your brain developed these incredibly powerful automatic ways to defend your body weight to prevent you from starving, keeping you in a range that we often call a septu. And wow, just look at that number, 70%. That tells you just how much of your personal thermostat setting is basically out of your conscious control. Studies on twins show that our genes account for a huge chunk of the differences in people's BMI. It kind of means that, from birth, some of us are just biologically more wired to hold on to weight than others. And this quote just nails the problem we're all facing today. Our genes are basically the same ones our ancestors had. Genes that were perfected for a world where food was scarce. But our environment? It couldn't be more different. It's like we have these ancient brains walking around in a modern world that's basically a 24-7 all-you-can-eat buffet. Okay, so what happens when you decide to go on a diet and try to turn down that thermostat? In your mind, you're doing something healthy. But to your brain, which is still running on that prehistoric software, well, you've just sounded a massive five-alarm fire. It thinks you're in mortal danger. So here's how that fire alarm gets pulled. As soon as you start losing body fat, the levels of a hormone called leptin just plummet. Leptin is made by your fat cells, and its main job is to tell your brain, hey, we've got plenty of energy stored up, we're good. When that signal disappears, your brain doesn't just notice, it panics. It gets a screaming, flashing red light signal that says, famine is here. And this really shows you the before and after. It's a dramatic shift. Your body doesn't just shrug and accept its new, lower weight. Oh no, it declares all-out war. Your entire internal chemistry gets re-engineered to fight tooth and nail to get you right back to where you started. So what does that all-out war actually look like? Well, let's get into the brain's fierce counterattack, because this is not a passive thing. Your brain actively rolls out a whole arsenal of weapons to make you regain that weight. And it's a four-pronged attack. First, the neurons that scream you're hungry go into overdrive. At the exact same time, the neurons that say, okay, you're full now, are basically silenced. Then, your metabolism slows way down to save energy. And as a final blow, your brain literally rewires itself to make that pizza or donut seem 10 times more rewarding than it ever did before. So let's be really clear here. When you're trying to resist a craving after losing weight, it is not a fair fight. The game is rigged. Your opponent is your own neurobiology, which sees weight loss as the same thing as starvation, and it is incredibly good at its job. This quote from researchers just says it all, doesn't it? Our bodies have this incredibly sensitive hair-trigger alarm system to stop us from losing weight, because for our ancestors, starving was a far bigger threat than being a little cubby. But a system to prevent us from gaining weight? Yeah, that system is a lot weaker. Okay, that all sounds pretty bleak, I know, but here's where the story pivots, because understanding all this biology is finally, finally leading to a total revolution in how we can manage weight. We're now creating treatments that work with the brain instead of fighting a losing battle against it. The entire philosophy is changing. You see, the old way was about trying to use willpower to overpower these ancient brain circuits. The new goal is much smarter. It's about reassuring the brain. It's about sending it signals that say, hey, relax, everything's okay, we are not starving to death. And that's exactly what some of the newer medications are designed to do. So here's the clever part. These new therapies basically mimic the hormones that your own gut releases after you eat a big meal. This sends a powerful signal up to that thermostat in your brain, telling it that plenty of energy is coming in. And that, in turn, quiets down that screaming starvation alarm, turning down the volume on the intense hunger and cravings that make keeping weight off so incredibly difficult. 
And this really brings us to the most important takeaway of all. For so, so long, regaining weight has been framed as a personal, moral failure. But as we've just walked through, it's a biological reflex, as predictable as pulling your hand away from a hot stove. So the real question for all of us is, now that we know this, how do we change the conversation? How do we move away from shame and blame and move towards real understanding and, finally, better solutions?